In this video, we're going to speed up your render times and workflow in After Effects with these handy settings and hardware tips. So let's get into it. Now, rendering can be time consuming. However, there's a few things that you can do to make your After Effects renders faster. Number one, enable multi-frame rendering. Turn this on to help with faster renders. Basically, the more cores your CPU has, the more frames After Effects can render simultaneously. To turn this on, head over to Edit, then Preferences, then Memory and Performance. Number two, optimize RAM reserved for other applications. It's a really good idea to tell After Effects how much RAM it should reserve for other applications. To do this, head over to Edit, Preferences, Memory and Performance. You can set this to the minimum value After Effects allow, which is usually around 10% of your total RAM. Number three, use GPS X. <laughs> GPS? Use GPU acceleration. Make sure that GPU acceleration is turned on in your After Effects project settings. To do this, navigate to File, Project Settings. You will then see the Video Rendering and Effects tab. Now set that to the option that displays GPU acceleration in the name. Number four, use solid state drives. A solid state drive is a quick way to increase render speeds in After Effects and the speed in your computer in general. With an SSD, After Effects will be able to load media assets so much faster. In an ideal world, you should have one SSD for your operating system, a second for your media footage, and a third dedicated to just the media cache, which moves me on to the next tip. Number five, optimizing memory cache settings. In After Effects, assign as much space as possible to the disk cache folder on a separate drive if possible. Head over to Edit, Preferences, Media and Disk Cache and choose a folder again on a separate drive. I have three M.2 drives, one for my operating system, one for media and one for my cache. I know it's probably overkill for some people but if you do this for a living then I would highly recommend doing so to speed up your workflow. And that is it. Hopefully these tips will help you speed up your workflow in After Effects and I'll see you in the next one.